This is Anthony Santo from MyRecordingInternship.com here to talk to you about VCA tracks. Uh, VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier. It was something in classic consoles, very cool, but let's go right into the lesson uh, because that's not going to affect the lesson very much. Uh, what we're going to do is create a VCA track to control an entire group's volume. What happens with these VCA faders is they allow you to control within the group individually still, so you can actually still update the volume of individual instruments within the group without it affecting the entire group, and now the VCA fader acts as the entire group fader. All right, so we want to make a VCA track, and what I'm going to have that track do is control all of my drums on the track that I'm working on right now. So let's create a new track right away. Uh, it's Command uh, Shift N creates your new track, and we'll go ahead and just create ourselves a nice VCA track. Now let's call this drum VCA and let's bring up that mixer window. So what we could see about a VCA track, and we see this drum VCA right here, it's our first one. There are no inputs, no sends, nothing like that. This is just going to control our drum group once we make it. So let's make that drum group. I'll click the room, I'll go all the way up to the top of my drums, down to the kick there. And I'm just going to make a group pressing Command G, or you could go down to groups and make yourself a group as well. And we'll make this the drums. Now we have to tell our VCA which group it's supposed to control. So it's going to control the drum group. Great. Let's take a listen to what we can do now that we have a VCA on the drum group. This used to be simple, breathe in and breathe out. This is the... Now everything is going to move in that group like we would want it to. Uh, the other cool thing about that, let's see this out, is that you can work within the group now without having to worry about the entire group moving. So if I wanted to bring up, say, the room mic. I could take this room mic. Let's make it bigger here so you can take a look. And I'll just make that one louder without making anything else louder. This used to be simple. Breathe in and breathe out. So this is going to speed up your workflow a bit using these VCAs. You won't have to toggle from group on to group off or toggle the suspend group shortcut over and over again. VCA will help you do that uh, just naturally here. Uh, the next thing that we could do with VCA is that's kind of cool. I showed you that you could move uh, within that group now one instrument at a time or one piece of this instrument at a time since we're working with drums. Now what I want to do is I want to create an overhead group. So I'm going to take my both, both of my overheads, make a group out of it, and we'll call it overhead group. Now the cool thing about this, even though all the drums are going to my VCA track and I control all of them together, now that these are a group within a group here, I can go ahead and control both of them at the same time without affecting any of my other drum tracks. This used to be simple, breathe in and breathe out. This is the worst, best thing I ever did. And that's pretty cool. So that's real, real basic VCA stuff, and we'll dig into more and more complicated stuff as we move on. All right, thanks for being with me on this one, and I'll see you on the next one.